Hello, everybody. This is Russian K artist. 안녕하세요. 나는 Russian K artist입니다. Um, anyways, so today I'm going to do a project, and um, it's very interesting. It requires lots of eggshells, a canvas, some glue, some paint, and so forth, so forth. So anyways, let's go ahead and get started. Um, and I did get it from a different YouTuber, so I will definitely link her down below so you guys can check her out because she's amazing. I keep getting some good art ideas from her and I love it. Um, I just haven't done them yet. <laughs> this is the first one I'm going to do. But anyways, yes, yeah, so moving on. So we're going to go ahead and do this and see what happens. Yay! All right, so it's me over here on the voiceover because I didn't record me saying everything on through my f camera, whatever. Anyway, so the first step, what I went ahead and did in order to get this project started is I had to peel those eggshells, but they don't peel very well if they're dry, which has been sitting in my room for a few days and drying up. So I had to pour some water into there to get it all soaked up, and then once the water soaks in, they're so much easier to peel. The reason you want these actually to be peeled for this project specifically is because then they will crack and break a lot easier when you want them to fall apart. Um, if they're, you know, they still have that inner lining inside of them, the problem becomes the fact that they just, when you try to crack them and break them into smaller pieces, they like to get stuck to each other, especially when they're already on the canvas and you just want to crack them a little bit. Uh, in my opinion, it's best to go ahead and just take them off. Um, and also they do stick together whenever they're, they have that inner lining. Um, they stick together very badly. Anyway, so I'm done with that. It took me like three days to do that, by the way. So what I'm starting off here is I went ahead and got my Mod Pod glue. You guys can use any glue for this project. And then I am just slowly incorporating those shells um, onto the canvas. And I'm placing them in a specific way because I don't want them to just kind of be upside down, topsy-turvy everywhere. Um, I want them to be placed down really nicely and neatly because um, this project requires that. Um, you guys could do it however you want to, but um, you could play around, try things out. But anyways, this is the way I chose to do it and I really, really like it. Also, in order to not get so much Mod Pod glue on my actual fingers, um, I went ahead and used this little tool here, whatever it is. No idea what it's called. Correct me, please, because I have no idea what it's called and I, I yeah. Anyway, so as I'm working on this, I went ahead and just slowly uh, put more glue onto the canvas as I was putting the shells on and put a very, very generous amount of glue on because since the shells are upwards, they're the hump of the shell, I guess you can say, um, needs a lot more glue underneath it so that it can stick down properly and not crack and break when you're going to be painting it and doing other things with it. Um, this took me a while to do. I put more of like the bigger shells in the middle and the smaller shells closer to the outside of uh, the actual line of shells that I'm doing. Um, this because I feel like it want, it just makes it look a little bit more pleasing to the eye, I guess. So <laughs> I don't know how else to explain it. But anyways, I'm going ahead and I'm doing that. Um, after doing all of this though, I am going to go through it and put a couple coats of Mod Pod glue on top of it just to secure the shells in place to make sure that they're not going to fall apart or crack as I'm going to paint it. Um, and you will see me doing this in just a second. But other than that, like, like I said, I'm just slowly incorporating the shells on. I didn't want glue to be on my fingers because otherwise the shells would get stuck to my fingers versus the canvas. So anyways, I'm going ahead right here, like I said, I'm putting a layer of glue on top. And I did a few layers um, just because you just want to make sure you got a really good coat of it on. Um, just It makes the shells itself a lot stronger. Uh, but when you put it on, don't put like too much on at a time. Just put like thin coats of it on. So I had to wait for a few days for that to dry. Well, I had to wait for one day for that to dry, my bad. So sorry. And then I went ahead and put a generous amount of glue on the empty spaces, grabbed some shells into my hands, cracked them, and just kind of plopped them on however. Try to make sure you cover the whole entire thing uh, if you're going to be working with this project as well. It was super fun to do, by the way. I loved it. It was actually so relaxing to do it. Even peeling the shells for some reason was actually really relaxing to me because I just turned on some music in the background as I was doing it. And then this other extra piece right here as well. I went ahead and just kind of uh, put a good amount of glue, cracked them in my hands, and placed them on. Okay, so now that I have gotten all my shells on the board, I've gotten 
um, a couple coats of uh, glue on it as well. I didn't show it on camera because it was just a little annoying. I'd wait for it to dry and then I put on the coat on, then dry and put on the coat on. Anyway, so I feel like they've got enough layers of coat on all of it. I mean, enough layers of coat. I believe it's got enough layers of glue now. I don't think I need to put any more on. So I'm going to go ahead and start painting this. Um, and I'm going to use two different kinds of colors or two different kinds of paints to see how it works out because I want the shelves here to be different from the shelves in the center. Um, and these ones, I'm going to color it with watercolors. And then these ones, I'm going to color it with acrylics. And we'll see how it works. And let's get started. Okay, first thing first, I went ahead and I got the watercolors and I started off with the blue because I really, really wanted it to be blue. As you can see, while I am per putting the glue, the blue, ugh, such a stutter bug today. As I'm putting the blue onto the shells, I was about to, yeah, while I'm putting the blue onto the shells, basically I have to do layers and layers and layers of actual paint because every single time I did it, um, they would not really stick much to the shells. It would go more into in between onto the glue part and just dries off there. And also we have a guest here, so she likes to come around and walk all over my desk a lot. And I'll show you what she looks like some other time. Not right now, but her tail's in the way. And I was like afraid that she was going to get her tail into the glue. Uh, but yeah, anyway, so I went ahead and put several coats of color onto the actual shelves until I got it to dry and be a dark blue the way I wanted it to be because I want it to be really vibrant. Alrighty, so it's the next day and this has gotten really dried up now, so that's great. Now I'm going to go ahead and start painting on this before I do anything on the blue. And then I've got this color right here. This is going to be a new paint. I've actually never tried these before, so hopefully this one turns out really well and uh, very dark red. It looks pretty bright though, to be honest. Um, but yeah, we will see how it turns out and let's get to it. Okay, so in order not to waste too much paint, because this is my first time using this specific paint, I wasn't exactly sure how much I would use, so I only plopped like a little bit at a time as I was using it. Um, however, as I was painting it, I did notice that this color is way too bright for my taste and I wanted it to be a lot darker, but um, there's still another step left and it really does bring the whole picture together, so definitely stick around to the end of the video to check it out because there's a few more steps to do, but it turns out really nice. Okay, so now that it's gotten all dried up, it is time for the last step. Well, my, might not be the last step. Anyways, so I've got the shoe polish I just barely bought, um, and I couldn't finish the project without it. So now that I've got it, let's open it up, and let's get to it. So I'm going to put shoe polish all over this art piece. So, yep. Oh my goodness, such a strong smell. Yes, you guys heard it right. I am putting shoe polish on this art piece. Uh, that's what the video was, so that's what I'm doing. Anyways, so at first I tried to do it on a paper towel and spread it on, which works good on those shells right there in the middle, on the red ones, but it doesn't work so well on the blue. It just rips up my whole paper towel. So I went ahead and just got a brush that I don't really care too much about and started placing it on. The shoe polish is not my favorite thing to use. It's my first time using it. I was having trouble with it here and there because it's. I feel like the areas that I wanted to be even darker just would not take the shoe polish and then the parts that I wanted to be brighter would just soak up the shoe polish. It was just kind of a disaster at the same time. But I really do like the end result. Um, however, I was afraid the shoe polish was going to come off after time, you know, like if you just touch the painting and it's just going to be shoe polish all over your fingers and stuff. So I did incorporate one more step into this because I was afraid of that happening to it. But anyway, so I went with a paper towel and I wiped off any excess shoe polish that I didn't want. And then I got with the red again and I put it into areas where I wanted to brighten up the actual picture itself. For instance, like that area with a lot of shells in the middle. Um, so I went ahead and applied more shoe polish to the corners, try to make that darkened up. It took me such a long time to do that. But um, like I said, it was just really difficult to work with, so. All right, so currently I've got two different kinds of things I can spray on it. Um, the actual black does not really come off much. It does a little bit, but it's very little. Um, and I'm not sure which one of these is gonna be better because this one, as for Protex pencils, 
uh, protects pencils, pastel, and chalk writings, prevents smudging and wrinkling, and allows easy remark. But this is more, I think I bought this one more for like paper, so that I could spray it on my art pictures whenever I'm drawing things. I've never even used it though, to be honest. And then I've got this one, which is actually a clear acrylic sealer, so I'm really curious how this one's going to be, because it's just like going to be a gloss over it. Um, I kind of hope it won't be too shiny if I try it out, but I'm probably going to get a piece of wood or something, try it out on both of those, see what happens. Um, and then decide from there which one to spray on here. So let's take this art piece outside and get it going. I'm probably just going to go with this one because it is a clear acrylic sealer. Oh my goodness, it's so freezing out here. Um, and I don't really have any place to like set it onto, so I'm just going to put it on the grass and not worry about it because who cares. Alright, I'm just going to go with this and spray it through. Or unless I should do uh, like spray this here and... S nah, whatever. It's fine. I don't know if that's too much. I heard it's supposed to take like 15 minutes to dry, so... Yeah, there you go. It has been sprayed. I think I did an even job. Oh my goodness, it's gonna be shiny! Alright, let's do a little bit more in the corners here. Just because the wind blowing away from it. I hope it doesn't get on my shoes. Alright, I think that's good. And we'll wait for it to dry and go back inside. And I am so cold right now. Alright, and that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. My art piece did turn out a lot shinier than I wanted it to. I want it to be more dull, but it works out. I love it. I love this technique. Um, other than that, if you guys enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel, give me a comment, like, um, share the video with somebody else, and I will see you guys in my next video. Annyeong! Paka paka! Bye!